episode of Restoring the Sport Van. Dad, what are we gonna do this weekend? Well, we're gonna check the differential uh, fluid level, uh, take a, a, a look at the fuel pump. Uh, we gotta get the tires back on and get it back on the ground. Sounds great. Stay tuned, guys. Yeah, we could do it. Mm. Well, ew, all kinds of junk up here. This is a differential that at one point in time was leaking and it made a big mess and there's oil all over everything, but there's no leaks now, so it's been fixed. And this is the plug where you check the level of fluid in here. So we're going to clean the dirt off of this a little bit and we're going to take the plug out and check the fluid. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but when I can't take the cap off, the oil's coming out. That means it is plum full so that's good so we're gonna leave that alone nice and clean the fluid I don't know if you can see that but that's nice and clean so that confirms my thinking that somebody was inside this differential and replaced this pinion seal which is right in here this seal in here is the only way the oil can get out of this thing other than at the axles but uh, so this seal was leaking. Somebody had this all apart and changed it, and we're good to go. Oh, this I thought was kind of neat. The the drive shaft in this van. It is such a short wheelbase. To give you an idea, the drive shaft is only 24 inches long. This is the end of it, right up here on my hand. So the drive shaft is 24 inches. You know, in most most vehicles, the drive shaft would probably be four or five feet, you know? So that shows you how far back the engine is. Okay, I'm gonna just clean this up a little bit. There, you can see the plug now. Looks way better. All right, uh, we've got the U-joint grease, the other one's inspected, looks good. The differential fluid's good. And remember we had this, um, vent line that was just draped over the side so we're gonna put a new one on here and we're gonna just push this thing on there's no pressure on this but we do want to vent it so we're gonna vent this up somewhere is about like this and we're gonna clamp it off and just leave it up all right you got it dad all set yeah all right, well, we're finishing up the work on the fuel tank. Uh, fuel tank's installed. Uh, we've got a new fuel line to a new fuel filter to a new electric fuel pump. And this line will carry the fuel forward. We're going to hook it on here to the current fuel line. We've got to shorten it a little bit. But uh, this should finish. We uh, we're going to wire it all in. I've got some wire that I pulled to the back here, so we're going to wire the fuel pump in. That's got to be done yet, but first we're going to try it. We put five gallons of fuel in the tank, and we're going to make sure this pump runs the way it's supposed to. Right? Okay. Uh, hang up. Why Okay, this is 12 volts. Okay, you ready? Now, once it starts coming now, we're just going to try the electric fuel pump now, make sure it works. Ready? Mom, what are we going to do now? Put 
putting the wheel on. Putting the wheel on? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, it looks professional, <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, Bob, with the gun? I... Um, I'm putting it on a higher setting. Oh. To get them on there tighter? That's right. <laughs> Good job, is it done? I think so. Good job. <laughs>